Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlada's Place. In today's video, I'm inviting you to Temecula's wine country, where I will share a few simple tips on how to prune grape wines. I spend a lot of time online looking for the instructions on how to prune the vines. And some of the terms that I've ran into were not kind of familiar to me. So I wanted to do a video that's like one on one on cutting or pruning the vines. I'm going to use a very simple language and I'm going to make it easy to understand. So let's start with tools. You're just going to need a little hand pruning uh, clippers and the bigger ones for the thicker vines and gloves will be very helpful. And another important thing is it's picking up, picking up the right timing for pruning vines. Depending on the area where you live, this could be as early as January or maybe even March. I'm in California, therefore my, and it's very sunny and warm as you can tell, my wines are wake, waking up, so it's time to prune them. And this is how you do it. Now I have to keep in mind that I'm showing you how to prune uh, all already established wine. So if you do have the wine like this, then uh, the way to cut it, and the simplest way to really understand it, is actually to focus on, um, on a new growth. So this is a, a growth from the last year. So if you want to have a new growth this year, you have to get it off of the base of this particular uh, growth. So if you would, for instance, if we would cut it here, we would lose that new growth. The, um, the vine might have the leaves and grow, but you will not get the fruit. The fruit comes from the new growth from last year. So for instance, in this case, we will cut it only a, a little bit above the first knuckle. I like to call it knuckle. You see, you're gonna have these knuckles, like this is one, here's one, here's another a knuckle. So you really wanna cut it right above the first knuckle like right here. Now, in case of this new growth here, we're gonna eliminate this. And also, I'm going to eliminate this little one here because we want to focus all the energy and all the growth on this particular line here. And the new growth is gonna come from the bottom. So, this is where the new sprouts will come and these are the sprouts we want to keep. So in this case you see uh, we have cut a line here and we left this one to grow. So this year I'm just gonna cut it right here and we're gonna have a new growth coming from uh, from the bottom. Now moving to the next one as you can you will see that um, we have uh, two new lines and so I'm gonna get rid of this little one I'm also going to trim the old one and then just cut down this one. So out of this one, we are going to have a new growth coming up. Okay. Now, here's another very good example. So this is a nice, good uh, wine, new, uh, new growth. So the question is now, do we want to leave the bigger one or do we want to uh, leave the smaller one because the smaller one is growing straight? I'm going to um, vote to keep the bigger one. So I'm going to get rid of this one and cut this one just right here. Uh, basically, you would be safe to cut it even lower, but I decided to just cut it here. And from here, we're going to have a, a nice new growth. Same thing here. And again, while you're working with your vine, this is a, a very good time to Excuse me, okay, this gets tangled. This is a very good time to clean the vine of the old growth. So you want to keep your vines nice and clean. In this situation here, you see that this end has died out for some reason. So we're just going to trim this. Okay, and we are expecting new growth from here. In this case, um, there's a quite a bit. You see, we left the, um, the new, new line a little bit too long. So you see the things have sprouted from the bottom of this knuckle and from the bottom of this knuckle. We don't need that. So 
just gonna get rid of this one and we're gonna trim this one right here okay another thing to keep in mind is spacing if you look at the line that we just did you do want to have enough space in between uh, these new new uh, lines if you will uh, one of the reason is uh, for the ventilation another thing is uh, if you don't want to have too many vines because your grape will be small maybe not as sweet and um, so important thing is to give enough a breeding space in between each, each of these new lines in fact now that I look at this I think we should get rid of this one so you see how nicely they are all spaced out okay so uh, again, I'm not using technical language uh, and the right terms, but the bottom line to remember in, in this is that you are going for the alive line and from there you want to grow new, new lines and that's where the fruit will come from. Now, when you do this, you know, while you prune your vines, also keep in mind this is a good time to fertilize. So after this is all done, we will fertilize these uh, vines and um, uh, make sure that they have enough water and to support the early spring growth. If you are visiting my YouTube channel for the first time, I would encourage you to check my charity called Vladis Seeds of Life. Main goal of the charity is to help reconnect families and communities in America and also to teach kids how to grow and prepare their own food. Here's another good example uh, of vines that have grown a little too low. Now, I don't want them growing too low, so I'm going to get rid of this all together. Okay. And so we're going to focus on the vines that are growing, uh, that are growing upward we're gonna keep those so anyhow there are many wonderful YouTube videos on how to do this with the right terms and then with the right explanations I struggled uh, because some people are really technical and they have their knowledge is just goes beyond uh, my understanding to be honest with you but the bottom line is what I have learned is to make sure that you uh, spread out the new growth and that when you cut that you cut like just at the right above the first knuckle this way you're going to get a fresh new growth and um, uh, you, you will make sure that your vines have fruit they bear fruit that year okay here's another a great example where you have two different vines growing one is um, growing on the top of the old vine and one is growing on the bottom so in this case the question is which one do we keep well, we want to keep our wines low, close to the main wine. So we will cut the, this one right here and this one right here. So this one can start to sprout in the spring. So here's another suggestion. In a way, in a uh, situation when you have a new wine growing and it's kind of growing too far out, what you want to do is uh, save the the top one, as you see right here, save the top one for this year, and then prepare the smaller ones on the bottom for the next year. So next year, when this one gets bigger, what we're going to do, we're going to cut the, this big one, we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to start with the new sprout from the bottom. I hope this little video was helpful to you, and rather you already have a vineyard or you're thinking about planting one, I will encourage you to go ahead and plant anything whether it's a fruit tree or start a small garden or just the herb garden or strawberries or start your own vineyard i would like to encourage you all to get out there on the open air and get busy growing your own food 
I could go on and on why growing our own food and teaching our kids how to do it is so important. Bottom line is uh, we all need to spend more time in the nature with our family and, and our children in particular. And most importantly, we need to pass on these important life skills onto newer generations. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with us. And if you like this video, please give us your thumbs up, subscribe because we have many more helpful videos on the way.